The term saturation current is often used for non-military products, such as power chokes. Incremental current is used more often when referring to RF or radio frequency inductors, also called RF coils. Incremental current applies to ferrite and powder cores and shielded RF inductors. Remember, it is the point where saturation of the magnetic core material begins to occur. The value is specified in amps or milliamps. Here is terminology often used to define various types of passive magnetic components. Inductor, choke, coil, reactor, common mode, and transformer. An inductor is a passive electronic component consisting of magnet wire used to create an inductance. An inductor need not have a core. In fact, air can be the core and is actually the purest form of an inductor. There are many types of magnetic cores, ferrite, carbonyls, or powdered irons, and powder cores like MPP, high flux, and cool mu, all of which can be used to produce a magnetic advantage or to produce higher inductance in a small package. Chokes, coils, and common modes are all examples of inductors. Choke is the term for an inductor in a power supply or a DC to DC converter. The function of a choke is to smooth the output signal from these devices. At API Delavan, any inductor over a few amps is called a choke. A coil is an inductor intended for radio frequency applications, where frequencies are in megahertz, gigahertz, or hundreds of megahertz. A coil is any single winding inductor. If there is more than one winding, it is not a coil. The words inductor, choke, and coil are often used interchangeably. Common mode chokes reduce the amount of interference or noise on an AC line or a power supply. Unlike a coil, a common mode always has at least two equal windings. While common modes possess two equal windings, they are not used to transform voltage. A reactor is an antiquated term for an inductor. It's found on older military drawings and descriptions and it occasionally appears on RFQs. Transformers step voltage up or down by changing an input voltage, which is as a general rule the primary winding, into another voltage, which is the secondary winding. A transformer must have two or more windings. Some transformers can consist of 10 or 12 windings. The formula for expressing a transformer is the secondary voltage, E sub 2, equals the primary voltage, E sub 1, times the secondary number of turns, N sub 2, divided by the primary number of turns, or N sub 1. Remember, a transformer has two or more windings and it is used to change one voltage into another. This is a completely different function than a coil, choke, reactor, or common mode.